Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss four quadrant operation of a drive. This is the four quadrant design of a drive. This is the first quadrant, which is uh, which is a forward motoring mode, and this is the second quadrant that is a forward braking mode, and third this is a reverse motoring mode, and this is the fourth quadrant that is a reverse braking mode. In the first quadrant, the speed of the motor, that is omega, is in the anti-clockwise direction. That is why it is taken as a positive, and so we can see here the sign conventions how these are taken as positive and negative this is a speed omega when it is taken as positive when it is directed in the uh, in the anti clockwise direction and so if it is in a clockwise direction then the speed is taken as a negative and this is a motor torque tm this is taken as positive if it increases the speed of the motor in the positive sense and this is a load torque and it is taken as positive if it, it is uh, acting against the motor torque so in this case you can see that in the first quadrant the speed of the motor is in the anti clockwise direction so this omega is positive and this tm this is again in the positive in the anti clockwise direction so it is also taken as positive so in this case omega into t that is power is coming out to be positive so this is the forward motoring mode of the drive next is the second quadrant that is a forward braking mode this is forward braking mode how it is forward braking uh, this is the speed speed of the motor is in the anti clockwise direction so it is taken as a positive and in this case the motor torque is coming out to be negative as it is in the clockwise direction anti clockwise direction clockwise direction so this uh, in this is second quadrant power is the in the negative direction power is negative so it is a forward braking mode then this is the third quadrant in third quadrant you can see here the speed speed of rotation is in the clockwise direction so omega is negative here and tm is assisting the speed of the rotation so it is also negative so in this case it is coming uh, the power is positive but as the rotation is in the anti clockwise uh, uh, is in the clockwise direction so it is a reverse motoring mode now this is the fourth quadrant this is this is a reverse braking mode reverse braking mode because in this case speed of the rotation is in the is in the clockwise direction so it is taken as negative and the motor torque is in the clockwise uh, anti clockwise direction so it is uh, it is taken as positive so the power coming out to be is negative so in this case this is a braking mode and again because the motor is in the clockwise direction so it is a reverse braking mode so here this fourth quadrant operation can be uh, can be explained clearly with the help of taking example of a hoist in this case we are taking a loaded cage and unloaded cage that is an empty cage so in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant we are hoisting up the loaded cage and in the uh, in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant i am taking the empty cage which is in the second quadrant it is hoisting up and empty cage is hoisting down in the and the third quadrant so let us see, uh, let us see the first quadrant first uh, in the first quadrant this uh, loaded cage is a uh, motor is hoisting up this loaded cage that is uh, and here we are taking the counter weight whose weight is more than the empty cage but less than that of the loaded cage so to uh, to lift up this loaded cage motor has to run in the anti clockwise direction so when the motor is running in the anti clockwise direction the speed of the rotation according to the uh, sign convention this omega m is coming out to be positive so as this is positive and now we have to lift up this loaded cage so to lift up this loaded cage motor torque must assist the speed of the rotation that is motor torque must also be in the in the anti anti clockwise direction so if tm is also in the anti clockwise direction so according to the sign conventions motor torque is again coming out to be positive so from here we can see that power is positive so as the motor is running in the anti clockwise direction and the power is positive so this you can see the stable according to this tl is negative motor torque is positive and speed is coming out to be positive so in this case the power that is omega into tm is coming out to be positive and again the direction according to the direction of the rotation that is in the anti clockwise direction it is the forward motoring mode so for the same uh, if the same case we have a second quadrant in the second quadrant i am taking the empty cage empty cage has to be lift up and because uh, empty cage has a weight less than that of the counter weight so it can be easily lift up so we have to uh, so we have to uh, manage the speed of this empty cage so that it can uh, it, it should not reach the high value so to manage the speed of the empty cage we have to 
take care of the motor torque. So in this case, when we are lifting up this empty cage, the uh, speed of the rotation is anti-clockwise direction. But because we have to limit the speed of the empty cage, the motor torque should be uh, should be in the opposite direction to that of the speed of the rotation. So in this case, T m must be in the uh, uh, clock, uh, clockwise direction. So you can see here in this case, omega m as in, it is in the anti-clockwise uh, direction. So it is taken as positive and motor torque because it is acting against the speed of rotation. So it is coming out to be negative. So you can see here also in the second quadrant, this Tm is negative and speed of rotation is positive. So power is coming out to be negative. As the power is coming out to be negative and again because the rotation is in the anti-clockwise direction, so it is positive. So it is a forward braking mode. Now coming to the third quadrant, again in the third quadrant I am taking the empty cage and now we have to lower down this empty cage and because the weight of the empty cage is less as come to the counterweight, so uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to assist the motor torque as with the speed of the rotation of the motor. So in this case empty cage is coming down, so in this, direct, in, in this case motor direction is in the uh, clockwise, uh, clockwise direction, so omega m here is negative. Yeah. And motor torque because we have to lower down the empty cage and this is a counterweight whose weight is more than this empty cage. So to uh, overcome the frictional force and the gravitational force, uh, so, so overcome the frictional force, this motor torque must, this is the omega m. So again it is in the anti-clockwise direction, so this Tm is negative and Tl is, because Tl act against the Tm, so it, uh, Tl it comes in the anti-clockwise direction. So in this case you can see that power is power is positive that is it is a motoring mode. Now we have to see the direction, the direction is the clockwise so this is the reverse but in the motoring case. So in the third quadrant you can see that motor torque is negative, speed is in the negative and power is coming out to be positive that is it is a reverse motoring mode. Now coming to the fourth quadrant, in the fourth quadrant we have to lift down the loaded cage. as uh, as you know that the loaded cage, weight of the loaded cage is more as compared to the counterweight. So it comes, so it uh, automatically it comes down due to the gravity. So now we have to again limit the speed of the, this loaded cage so that it cannot, uh, uh, so, it, so that it cannot reach the uh, dangerous speed. So now we have to limit the value of the loaded cage. The, in this case, in this case the speed of the rotation of the motor is in the clockwise direction because we have to lift down the loaded cage. Now because we have to limit the speed of, uh, limit the speed of the motor, so in this case motor torque must act against the speed of the rotation. So in this case we have omega in the clockwise, so Tm must be in the anti-clockwise direction. So in this case omega is coming out to be negative and Tm motor torque is coming out to be positive. So the power you can see is negative. So as the power is negative, so it is a braking mode and because the direction of rotation is in the clockwise direction, so it is a reverse braking mode. So in this way, we can see that in the first quadrant, motor can act as a forward motoring mode and in the second quadrant, it can act as a forward braking mode. In the third quadrant, it can act as a reverse motoring mode and in the fourth quadrant, it can act as a reverse braking mode. Thank you.